Today, we are looking at the R6 Mark II, which is like the R6, but Mark II. The, two. the R6 has mass appeal, but what exactly has the Mark II got to make it massively more appealing? There's new stuff. Look at that, that, that oh, oh, this is pretty handy, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> that is, that's new right there. Video slash stills mode dial. You've still got mode dial over there. Bog standard. No, not any bog standard. It's got lock. It's a cannon dial. Yeah, it's got lock. Lock, 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 messing with the lock. Lock, lock, the lock. Lock, 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 lock. It makes sense to put the dial and twiddly bits that you use in between shots on the top, leaving all the buttons and spinny control things you need to use during shooting to be accessed by your right hand thumb. And then we've got a multi-controller nubbin. It's, it's kind of hard to explain why that's good. It just feels yeah. good. Then there's, there's lots of different nubbins around, but it, it's just got, just got a nice touch to it. It doesn't feel like when you press it, it doesn't feel like it's injuring your finger or anything. And it, it you know, takes a very light touch to, to move it. It's pleasant. For example, the, the S5 I have, sometimes when you push it, you accidentally press it. Yeah. Not this one. It just feels, it just feels nicely engineered. I know, I know it's just a nubbin. I just like these bodies. I mean, it doesn't have the top LCD, but you don't need that anyway. It's got lightweight uh, magnesium alloy body. Yeah, even though it takes the same batteries, you get a few hundred more shots. This, this is like legendary battery if you can shoot her. Somehow they managed to eke an extra few hundred shots out of that same battery. And then the uh, OVF simulation. So it's, oh, it's so good. Oh, wow. It's my face, high dynamic range. Hard to say. <laughs> so what it means is that it's a slightly higher dynamic range. So it's just like you're looking through an optical finder. Even if we go to the effort of recording the screen, it won't look the same. So we can just say, oh, oh it's HDR-like. That's like, oh, the, the shadows are so, so, so much detail. It's just like my own eyes are looking at it. This feature was seen on the R3 and there's more stuff that has been inherited from its big bodied Pro Bro 2. I mean, the air system, they've improved it. It's apparently inherits the R3 auto focusing system. Be interesting to see just how R3 like it is. Improved learning algorithm and um, picks up horses. I don't mean literally, physically picks up horses. That would be impressive. Horses, aircraft, trains, and it can kind of uh, auto select between um, like subjects. Yes. For subjects. Intuitive auto select. All right, enough babbling about the AF. Time to test it out. Back to stills, shutter priority. Here we go. All uh, right. It feels like I'm watching an Olympics opening ceremony right here. What's <laughs> that? The face detection is working treat. Now the subject's quite far away. I mean, when you when you look at the subject in the frame, we try a wide angle. Look, it's still ping out there. Is that 28 millimeter? Oh, fantastic stuff. See, look at that. You can barely see the subject. It's some Batman, it's Batman. The eye AF picks up on the eyes even when they appear quite small in the frame. With the resolution, things have seen a bit of a bump up. So with those 24 megapixels, I guess the key thing, it's faster read out. So yeah. reduced rolling shutter, and well, I guess that's why you've got 40 uh, FPS in electronic shutter now. Because it's reading out fast, really. Like that. Twice fast. The mechanical shutter burst still remains the same though. So mechanical shutter burst, 12 FPS. Now electronic shutter. It was just 20. Yeah, <laughs> so I've doubled that. I've got a 40 FPS now, electronic shutter. Let's see if it can track the faces as quick. It has a little kind of electronic drum machine sound. Always is completely silent. Soft sound, beastly AF. Check out the AF square on the face. And then when it gets fully covered, the AF square still positions itself where the face should be. As soon as the face is revealed again, boom, it's locked on. I can just wait for that face and eye AF to pop up. Squeeze that shutter button and the focusing system does the work. It keeps tracking and even when temporarily distracted by flappy things, it picks up the face and eye even from the side and tracks again. The little blue square, it just keeps keeps tracking 
when they come towards me. There's the R6 Mark II, it's, you know, it's not low end, it's not, the en it's not entry level, but it's kind of middle level. It feels pretty good, it feels really sharp, it feels really snappy. The focusing system doesn't feel like the cheap tail on it. You don't need to worry about that. See, what I'm doing is I'm standing behind this guy. It's just in case a stray stick whacks this way. We'll get it first. So, that's the stills. What's the deal with the video mode? It's got a 4K 60. That's in full frame. It feels good, the waft of fresh air. You don't need a fan. This would be great in the summer. So you can also take 6K60 uh, through the HDMI if you want it. But uh, it's oversampled from 6K readout to 4K60 if you want to record in camera. 180p, that's an HD mode. C-Log, false color, which is, I mean, there's not many cameras that have false color yeah, no, as yeah. standard in camera. No. And they've got pre-recording function of three or five seconds for video and no 30 minute limit. It seems like that's, that's a lot of them are doing that these days. <laughs> Makes sense. It's quite handy to have it function as a webcam as well. Focus breathing compensation. Neat feature. If you don't like breathing, well, not actual breathing. That's good. It's good for you. So for video, we've got this feature auto focus wise where you can have it just focus on faces face only. So when the face is in the frame, it will focus on that. But when it goes out of frame, it won't do the thing where it focuses on the background. That's the theory anyway. Subject detect AF, detect priority. In this mode, it will focus on your face when it's in a frame, but as soon as you exit, stage, whatever, left or right, it should focus on the background. Yeah. But if you don't want that to happen... So unprofessional. Yeah. That, I, what, why do you want to focus on the background for? That's not very really interesting, is it? No matter, because you can change this. Detect only. When your face is in frame, it's in focus like that. And then when you want to exit, that way or that way, it shouldn't focus on the background. Yeah, and it doesn't work on hands. <laughs> I like the upgrade to the R6. The previous one appealed to a certain level, then the R5 suddenly looked like the better one to go for. It's just more money to shell out though. The R5 is the camera many would love to buy, but in reality, the R6 is the more sensible buy. The Mark II packs improvements that make it a better hybrid, thus an even more sensible choice for full-frame mirrorless cameras. It inherits features from their flagship, and it performs as flawlessly as you'll need. Although this is not final firmware, this is certainly shaping up to be a hugely hot bit of hybrid kit. With this camera, you really don't need to feel like you're missing out on the R5.